Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Mixazzy and today we are back in Planet Zoo once again working on our Ranger Park Zoo project on one of the biggest builds we've done yet and I'm really excited to show you guys this. This is episode 8 of the series. If you've not seen episode 1 through 7, missed any in between or anything, up in the top right corner I'll put a card there so that you can click on the playlist and watch any episodes that you missed. Now if you don't want to watch all the time lapse footage, there's also a timestamp below in the description so you can skip ahead to us walking around live in real time with a first person view with commentary as well with the finished project of the builds. If that's more of your speed, go ahead and do that down in the description below. Now that we're in here, we're doing episode 8, big project today, we are going to do the lion habitat in the zoo. Now I didn't want to do anything that we've been doing regularly, we've kind of been sticking to this style of a circular sort of habitat where you can look on one or two sides of the habitat and see the animals, you know the typical sort of zoo. Um, layout there. I wanted to do something a little different in this episode, get a little crazy with it and see if we can make something that's a bit more unique um, and special for the lions. So for this one I ended up going with this sort of island in the middle that we're going to put a building on and you can get a really close up view of the lions in their sort of uh, mountain lion king-esque sort of uh, habitat. Now that was really fun to do, but this is the start of the big cats area for the future plans of the zoo. We're going to have all the big cats in this sort of area grouped together, not necessarily separated by continent or anything. We're going to have all the big cats in the game. We already have the cheetahs. We're going to do the lions right now. And you'll see the sign later leading to the area, and we kind of lay it out. And I'll talk about that more in the real-time footage at the end of the video. But we're going to do, you know, jaguars, tigers, and um, I'm not sure if there's others, but that should be good for the big cats. Now this was a big build. This took me a long time to do, and I put a lot of effort into this one. And uh, I really like how it turned out in the end, of course, I always say that. But, you know, this one especially, because it went through a lot of different iterations. Um, I actually did a whole nother habitat that you won't even see that I wasn't really happy with. So we end up doing uh, something a little different here. And I really like how this turned out in the end. And the building in the middle we do like three or four times, but I cut out a lot of that footage. Now, I want to talk about some of the comments that we got on the last video. I really appreciate all the support that I had in the last video. When we did the uh, Savannah Safari. Uh, that was probably the best and most well received video of the Ranger Park Zoo series so far. So hopefully this one will be even better but people were asking about if I ever stream or if I have a Twitch account which I do. I do have a Twitch account TV at twitch.tv and uh, people were asking if I ever stream on there. I have not streamed any Planet Zoo on there yet but I am planning if we hit 100 subscribers or when we hit 100 subscribers because we're, we're going up pretty quick now. Now we're about at 83 at the time I'm uh, doing this voiceover today. So once we hit 100 subscribers, I'm planning on doing a thank you stream on there where we can do a little bit of uh, Ranger Park Zoo and uh, maybe we can look at some of your guys' zoos if you'd like to do something like that and we can uh, just have a good time on stream as sort of a thank you for all the support and everything. Now if any of you have any interesting interest in me doing that more often or as more of a uh, usual thing, let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll see what I can do with that. But let's start talking about what we're building on the screen here. Here we're going to build sort of the uh, education center building that you're going to walk out across the bridge on and this is going to have a bunch of uh, education on lions in it and just uh, animals in general and there's a big cut there but uh, I went through about four iterations of this building. Um, this is sort of uh, prototype number three that you're seeing on the screen now. This is kind of the one we stick with but I do change it quite a bit and I'm showing a little bit of that process on the screen now because I don't just want to cut from uh, just a shell of a building to the finished product, product because a lot of work goes into it to try to make it right and the, I do go through quite a few different iterations of buildings a lot of the time. I end up scrapping some and uh, keeping other parts of it and uh, getting rid of something so the buildings are never really done and I think that's a good thing for anyone to see out there who goes through any Planet Zoo building of their own because um, you never get it right on the first try usually and sometimes when you do you get really lucky but 
you, it's gonna take a lot of tries to get the building to look exactly how you want it to look so I want to show the process of that so we're gonna change a few things here especially the big windows on the front the windows on the side here I think we take it out because I didn't want um, this sort of the white like bars in the middle of it we're gonna take it out and just move the use the smooth glass of it now let's talk a little about what I was going for for this building in general. I kind of wanted to go for a uh, modern theme because in the zoo so far we've kind of went away from the modern theme a little bit. Nothing looks like it's necessarily new construction um, from a realism sort of standpoint. So I kind of wanted to go for that in this um, build and that's why I kind of went with like these windows, kind of these like cool wood. Um, sort of design on the side here and we ended up taking out those side windows um, because that was more of a recent proto or not recent um, one of the previous prototypes of this building where it was just uh, completely all windows on the side there but I uh, go for sort of a just the wood design because I think that looks a lot better it looks a lot more modern it looks pretty cool too so I wanted to just go for that wood sort of feel and just kind of have that as the big modern aspect and we fix it because uh, now right right here yeah as you can see it it's kind of not like symmetrical uh, I changed it so it's symmetrical I thought it looked pretty cool kind of unique and not symmetrical before uh, we took this big old window out. After we take this big old window out, it it doesn't look good anymore. <laughs> when the whole thing's the wood, um, it just looks kind of sporadic and just like not well put together. Like no one would ever actually make that <laughs> if it was like a real building. So I, I made it symmetrical. It, it looks cool. It's kind of like a, a trellis, if that's the right word, um, with like the checkered pattern that a trellis has with like the the sun coming through the holes and everything but it's kind of on its side at a diagonal so that's what we go there, there's the finished product you can see it now on the screen um, as I go through and do all that it took me forever to do but it, it's good in the end so here we go we got the lion's den education center um, we're gonna call the exhibit itself the lion's den it's really cool um, the building looks awesome I love how it turned out and uh, I really like the modern theme here I, I kind of wanted to go for it's more of a new build for the zoo. It's more of a focal point, like a big ticket sort of exhibit. This is what you go to see. Hey, this was recently built and they'll have a lot of advertisement at the beginning of the zoo for this. Like, this is really cool. Go go see this. And uh, I think it, it is exactly what it says it is. It's super cool. But now we're gonna work on some of the interior here. We just put a lot of these education boards. I wish we could change what's on the these boards so we could uh, have some different pictures of lions instead of just the one over and over again. And we're going to put a little bit of a statue of a lion here and uh, behind that I'm going to put a little bit of a uh, education area where you like classes can go. You can get sort of a presentation from a zookeeper or an educator or something like that. So that's what we go with and now we're going to sort of build this bridge. I wanted to make the bridge look a little better because the base bridge, which is the path going across, is super boring and it's not very safe either. Uh, we have to think about safety when we're talking about these lions and how we're doing all this realism within the zoo. So safety is a big a aspect that we need to think about. So the bridge definitely needed to be safer. So I wanted to add railings, ways that people can't like jump down into it without like you know, hurting themselves because the lions probably won't take too kindly to that. So, I mean, just use common sense at a zoo, but you can't always account for everything because people can always get into the exhibit if they really want to. There's no way to uh, limit that entirely. So I just wanted to create a little bit of a barrier there. And I think about this throughout, we're gonna put glass on the other side of the uh, education center. And right here, we're gonna put these sort of uh, catchers. I don't know what to call these kind of like barriers if you uh, accidentally like fall over the edge or something like your phone falls over the edge it'll fall into this sort of thing it's kind of like a net I apologize for the the cat mowing in the background but yeah it's just sort of a net that would stop you it's an extra safety precaution here so if someone accidentally like fell over the side they'll fall in this net not straight into the enclosure itself 
uh, phones, stuff like that, if that falls. I mean, it could probably go through this, but this is as good of a net as you can make in Planet Zoo uh, with this small of a scale, because there's not a lot of small pieces that work for it. So now we're going to start doing the actual habitat for the lions. I really like how it turns out. We do a lot of rocks, and I wanted to go for this Lion King-esque sort of uh, rock here. I'm, I forget what it's called in the movie, but uh, we're like Mufasa or Simba stand on. So I wanted to have this sort of like lion outlook, kind of like in that movie. And I think uh, that's what a lot of people associate when they associate with lions. So I think it's, it's a good thing to do. Um, here we're going to do a lot of rocks, a lot of rock work on this back wall to make it look like it's sort of a mountain and you're living up in the cave at the top of the mountain, uh, a lot of rock terrain paint. If you look at uh, any of these lion exhibits throughout the world and all these different zoos, um, like real pictures of them on, would it be Google Maps or if you just search it on Google? You're gonna find that a lot of them are just super rocky. So what they do is they make kind of the uh, habitat look super rocky and that's sort of what it is. And a lot of them just have rocks throughout and don't really have like nice area for them to run around in and makes it look like they kind of live up in the mountains. But I wanted to add sort of this valley and this field that they can run around in around the education center so that's why we do that. But definitely over here by their cave we are going to have the the rocks and make it look like they're living in a mountain. I think that's cool. And we also do a little bit of a uh, waterfall and a couple ponds, one at the top of the rocks and one down below in the valley. I think that was a super cool aspect. We're going to definitely go big for this lion exhibit because it is such a big ticket animal. And I think the zoo, from a realism standpoint, would spend a lot of time and a lot of money on this sort of exhibit because it does, does bring in a lot of people. Um, the, the lines would and especially if you're gonna have this super cool like education building that's super modern recently built they're gonna have a cool lion exhibit but it looks really cool in the end when we walk through in the real time or you probably saw it at the beginning of the uh, time-lapse with the intro with all those uh, cinematic shots of the build I'm sure I'm gonna put in some pretty nice ones because this is a really cool exhibit, really proud of how this is, how this turns out. And a lot of the rest of this is just rock work and uh, nature work in the time lapse here. And I don't think there's much more to talk about about it. I'll just kind of let it play. I'll turn up the music a bit and uh, I will see you guys in the real time portion of the video where we walk through in first person.
Alright everybody, we are now in the real-time walkthrough of the video where we're going to show the finished products of the Alliance and Habitat. Uh, so we're going to start over here sort of at this crossroads. We're right by the Savannah Safari from the last episode. If you have not seen that, go check it out. That was a super cool build. Um, but this is sort of the start of the Big Cats area like I was talking about in the uh, time-lapse portion if you did watch it. Um, this is going to be sort of the sign that sort of starts off the Big Cats area. We've kind of already started the Big Cats when we did the Cheetahs in episode 6 maybe or 5, something like that. If you haven't seen that one, go check it out as well. This is a cool build. But we're over sort of past the Paw Pantry where we made that restaurant. Over here we're going to have a big education center where we're going to have like the movies and stuff like that, like the 40 movies that zoos tend to have. And then we're going to start the Big Cats area next to the Savannah Safari. So let's walk this way first. This is sort of going to be where the big cats area will extend. We're going to have the other animals down this way. But I wanted to show a little bit of the work I did down this way. We're going to have one of the two signs of the lions. Then we have the main sign over by the main path over there. But I wanted to show off this little side entrance. I did a little bit of a uh, picnic area here to kind of cut up this uh, blank green space that we have between the cheetahs and the lion habitat as well along with some education boards just to add that realistic factor break up just the uh, empty space with uh, some cool stuff so let's get to it let's go down the main drag here look at the actual main sign for the lions and habitat and there's just so many guests piling in right now to this habitat because it is super cool but here is the lion's den main sign uh, we went for sort of a modern feel wooden a lot of clean edges and definitely looks like it's uh, uh, more of a new build than anything and we're just gonna walk right in and there is some sight lines over here you can see the lines if they're out in the valley over here you can see the uh, the males out by the uh, pond over there with the waterfall but it's not really a uh, super safety conscious over here but um, <laughs> just don't jump over the fence because uh, they're lions they they might eat you um, it also extends this way too but it does add privacy so if you want to get the best view that you can get you're gonna have to go into the education center and that's really what I want people to do so we're gonna cross this bridge we made here with a little bit of the the safety nets on the side I think those work really well and if the lions are down here in the valley which uh, they are sometimes when I uh, I just had to record this once but I didn't have my mic Thank on you. so I have to record it again now but the lions were all down here playing and the guests were looking at it and it was super cool but here is the Lions and Education Center really happy with how this building turned out that's a super nice sight line right there a nice uh, cinematic shot of this sort of modern wooden themed like uh, zoo building and here we are inside we have this all flushed out um, we put a lot of education boards in so you can learn about the lions donate if you want to the exhibit I wish I could put more in here but there's not a lot that you can do in Planet Zoo in terms of education other than putting these signs down uh, and these these uh, screens as well I do have a uh, voice thing stuck under the ground here but this shouldn't be out this is the missing wall piece here uh, just disregard that for now it should look like this side but this is sort of the area where I would want maybe an educator or a zookeeper giving like a class or a presentation to uh, guests or little kiddos or classes that are coming to the zoo uh, I was kind of going for this to be one one screen itself but um, you can't really do that in Planet Zoo and you can't have custom screens either so we just have to look at the same picture of the lion over and over again because we can't actually make it ourselves now they do add custom screens like they did in Planet uh, Coaster what I can do is I can take screenshots of myself screenshots myself of our uh, exhibit and put them in there so it'll look even better but we also have this nice line set here I use the exhibit um, education board it's completely blank because it's for like exhibit animals but I think it looks cool in front of this but yeah that's pretty much it on the inside here let's get to the actual main thing with all these people out here where you can see the lions through this glass and this is what their habitat looks like in the end super beautiful super fleshed out like a little savannah mountain stuck uh, out in the middle of nowhere where the lions sort of hang on. I think she just jumped in. Wow, that's okay, that's a big jump. Uh, not super realistic, I think, in that sense, but maybe they can do that. 
But the Careful. lions uh, hang out down here. They have this mountain, and then they can come down to the valley and everything. But let's jump out of first person now and take a look at it um, from the overview because the glass kind of hinders our, our view there a little bit. But it is there for a safety reason, of course, all the habitats. I saw that had lions... Um, in the realistic sort of zoos that I was researching for this uh, this build right here all had glass because it is probably the safest for the lions because they are big cats they can jump pretty far as we just saw and they can be dangerous in some instances but here is the nice big money shot uh, view right here I think it looks great super natural but also set up where there's like nice views for the guests so it's just like natural yet artificial and I, I put a bunch of lines in this habitat yeah look at all these only one male though because uh, you can only have one male according to the zoopedia but they have a little space in here where they can go if they're getting stressed out from the guests seeing them everywhere back here they're definitely hidden uh, behind these rocks and they can uh, hide if they're ever stressed out but this is I, I just love how this looks I could sit here and look at this for for hours uh, the little waterfall we did here also a super nice touch and it's not like a big focal point of the habitat either it's just kind of a side cool thing because it is like a big budget exhibit and they need a source of water I don't like necessarily having to put down that uh, like water spout because it doesn't look all that great so I think having a natural water source I mean quote unquote natural because it is a zoo water source like this is really the way to go and I think it looks super awesome but sadly we we see these little uh, special effect things here I wish they had an option where we could hide those but there's no way I can have the waterfall look like that without those little black dots there so sadly that's nothing we can do about that right now hopefully in the future they'll do that <laughs> just jumps again so uh, definitely love love this exhibit they're hanging out right here yeah, they have a little valley where they can walk around in, sort of their like grassland, flat area. They have a lion chilling right here. They have a lot of uh, their toys out here, enrichment items, whatever you want to call it. And I added a bunch of these little grasses and flowers to make it look lush and natural like it is all flushed out. And they have a lot of space to uh, roam in here, so I wanted to do something big for the lions because they're cool. I've always wanted to do lions. Um, but I never knew what I wanted to do um, for the exhibit because I wanted to do something big, make it look cool. Because everyone does a uh, lion exhibit. I mean, I'm sure you've seen other YouTubers on YouTube if you watch this doing lion exhibits because they are sort of this like big like zoo animal that everyone associates zoos with. But I wanted to do something unique and hopefully this sets me apart from uh, other content creators out there and is sort of uh, a new staple for what lion exhibit should be. Cause this is cool. It's definitely unique with the uh, education center. And uh, definitely a realistic thing I could see a zoo doing for an animal like this. Uh, for like uh, smaller animals like flamingos, you couldn't see zoos realistically building like huge cool habitats for them. But for a lion, you could definitely see it. And I think that's really what I wanted to go with the realism factor here. Really happy with everything here. So let's, uh, let's talk about the remainder of the big cats area. I want to go out this way, definitely do the jaguars, the cheat. well we already did the cheetahs, the tigers as well, and uh, I think the snow leopards, yeah those are big cats too, we can do the snow leopards uh, somewhere over here too. Maybe a restaurant as well, but I think that'll cap off this area over here, and we'll sort of shut off Whoa, this area of wrong way. Sorry. as the end of the zoo this way, and we'll put fencing around it of course, maybe finish these roads that way, so it just looks realistic. Um, up this way I kinda wanna do the African elephants of course I wanna do a huge cool like uh, thing like this with the uh, lions where there's a big education center big elephant house uh, raise awareness on African elephants etc uh, maybe rhinos as well I don't think we have African rhinos in the the game yet I think it's just Indian rhinoceroses but it'll work uh, well anyway for what we wanna do this way so over here uh, we talked about it in the last uh, video a little bit but I'll, I'll reiterate again I want to do sort of the movie education 4d movies uh, center here it's sort of like a big thing where the kiddos will go see those uh, educational films and can learn about animals this way I want to do big all the bears in the game because I, I love bears you know it's the uh, the logo of the channel and everything so definitely do a lot of cool bear habitats um, this way sort of make that a cool area also the primates with the apes the gorillas the uh, 
stuff like that, the capuchin monkeys and everything. And hopefully they'll add a new DLC where we can do some more animals as well. But I don't want this to get too big because we, uh, we do want it to be realistic at the end of the day. And we need to finish out this train so it goes all the way around the park. So we'll, we'll have to figure out how to incorporate that as well. But right now we did this and it's great. So in a future episode, not sure what we do, but hopefully we can hit 100 subscribers and we can do a stream um, with you guys coming out and hopefully uh, being there giving some suggestions of what you want to see in the zoo as well because I'm definitely open to changing things around if everyone is uh, all for it or if the idea is even a little better. Here's the lion playing with this sort of feeding thing. It looks, it looks super cool. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, and I appreciate all the support and everything. And I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I really did uh, enjoy making it. Thank you again for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please like, comment, and subscribe below. It really does help the channel grow. If you want to see more content like this, check out the remainder of the playlist if you haven't seen it. If not, join me next time in the Ranger Park Zoo series sometime next week. Thank you again, guys. I'll see you next time.